might have lost 110, maybe 115, even more pounds on keto. I stopped getting on the scale. And now I teach other women how to use keto and make it fit in their lifestyle. And I want to share with you some of the tips, the rule shifts, breaking the rules over here that I have done in order to make keto something that is sustainable in my life. I have straws. One of the rules that I have, we'll start with is number one, because it's going to lead into what I'm going to be doing while we hang out here today. If you have favorite foods when you're not on keto, then something you may want to consider is finding the keto dupe. So when I was close to 300 pounds, I had two venti Starbucks ice chais pretty much a day, every work day. Was it good for me? No, uh, it was not good at all. So now that I'm much smaller and much more concerned with my health, I still would love to have a good ice chai on days when I am in ketosis, which is most of the time. So recently I tried it with a muscle milk. Now muscle milks are okay. They're not the cleanest of ingredients. And the reality is, is we don't have to be perfect all the time. But if I want a drink that I can have every day guilt-free, then I need to figure out how to do this, but in a healthier way. So I am going to be mixing up two of my dupes for the venti ice chai from Starbucks. While we talk about the 10 tips, tricks, rule breaking things to help you be successful on keto. The first thing I need you to know is that you can go online and find a million and one rules and guidelines on how to keto properly. And I want you to let all of that go. The reality is, is that even when we are not perfect keto, as long as we are embracing the foundation of the keto lifestyle most of the time, we are going to get healthier. We are going to find more joy. Our moods will be better, the joy thing. Hormones are going to be more balanced, more play, more libido, like need I say more. So how you make keto fit in your life is going to be personal. These are the things that I do that allow me to stay pretty consistent with keto most of the time. Number one is snacks. Especially when you are getting started in that first few weeks of keto, you are going to need to snack. You're going to want to plan on you snacking, which means you're going to want to set yourself up with a cupboard full of snacks. They don't have to be clean, please. Just make them delicious, things that you're going to be happy to turn to when the carb monsters come calling and you're not going to give them carbs, you're going to give them something else that is delicious. Hmm. Already found problem number one. <laughs> this is whey, okay, whey, and then I added cream for fat. I probably should have stuck to olive oil because the cream be chunky. Oh well, okay, so snacks on hand, perfect. Number two, it's not about perfect. That kind of goes in the same thing, is one of the reasons why we often can fail at this keto diet thing is because we expect ourselves to be perfect. And we set ourselves up with expectations of never messing up. I'm gonna start keto, I'm never going to eat anything off the plan ever again. I'm just not gonna do it. That's not true. So please let that go entirely and just allow yourself to be human, please. It doesn't always have to be clean. There is this belief in the wellness space that we have to be perfectly clean all the time. So when we decide that we're going to get healthy, it's an all or nothing situation. And let me tell you that that just makes me ridiculously bonkers because better is better. Better is better. So. Even if it's not clean, I don't care. Just focus on doing better than you did. And once you are like fully in ketosis, then you can start playing with cleaning it up, making it a little better, tweaking some things. But better is better. We don't have to make it perfectly clean all the time. Eat the mayo from the grocery store. It's okay. Let go of this idea of always having to track, okay? In the beginning, sure, you're probably going to have to. You need to learn how to feed your body the foods that will get you into ketosis. And there are carbs hiding in the most random places. And the only way to know where they're hiding is to track. So if you're not willing to track, then shameless plug, 
maybe think about grabbing my Mama Can Thrive Keto Meal Plan for Families because I do all the macros calculations so you don't have to with delicious recipes you and your family will love. Don't chase ketones, okay? Um, if you've ever heard of the ketone sticks, like they're great, they're super fun. Who doesn't love peeing on sticks? It's great. But if you're somebody who's going to look at that ketone, no different than if you look at the scale and think that that is a dictator of your success and what you're doing, is not true. What I want you to base all of this on is how you feel. I don't care what the scale does, neither should you. I don't care what color your pee stick is, neither should you. What you need to be focusing on is how your body is responding. Am I getting more energy? Is my mood better? Am I becoming more playful? That's all you need. Because when you're feeling better, you can trust that your body is rebalancing and going in the direction that you want it to and everything else will take care of itself. Anybody else not like the bendy straws? Like, I need to be able to look through it and make sure it's clean before I use it. Okay, these are ready to go. It's time to try them. This is the muscle milk. And it's pretty good, actually. It's really good. I'll drink that. And it has 25 grams of protein. It's not super clean, though. Again, we talked about this. This is the clean version. Whey protein powder, fat, and then just like the tiniest. Do not overdo stevia, folks. It's way too much stuff is protein. Overdo that one in this one. Brain freeze. A lot of stevia in this one to get it to be as close to as good as this one. Muscle milk is still better, but I again I have some ideas. I'm gonna try this one again. I will drink it because I'm a cheap bee. I'll drink it. The next tip is eat till you're full. Please stop acting like you need to restrict calories. I promise that once your body becomes fat adapted, your body is going to have normal hug hunger signals. And when you eat to your full, eating good protein and good fats, you will not overeat. You might in the first week or two as you become fat adapted, but I need you not to worry about that because if you let yourself be hungry, you are going to be way more likely to reach for the foods that don't let you get into ketosis. So eat till you're full, eat when you're hungry, don't count calories. Something I need you to realize is there is this belief in the world, again, we go back to that idea of perfection, that you need to be in keto all the time. If I decide I'm ketogenic, I'm a keto person, that I'm going to be in ketosis every day for the rest of my life. And no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not willing to do that. But that doesn't mean keto can't be part of my lifestyle and a huge part of it. So. When I go on vacation, I don't stay keto. Over Christmas, don't stay keto. And in the summer, I always take a keto break. And even in a month period, there are multiple times within that month where I have non-keto meals. And I'm not sorry about it because giving myself those breaks, those concessions, that time away from you know efforting, it's not effort anymore, but in the beginning it was, those breaks, those times where I just let myself have whatever I wanted is the is one of the big reasons why I was able to keep coming back to keto. Because if you believe that you're never going to get your favorite pasta dish, your favorite cookie again, then you're going to be more reluctant in doing this keto thing. In fact, my husband and I, when we used to start keto, we would binge eat for like a week before because we wanted to get all of our favorite foods in before we couldn't have them anymore. And that wasn't helpful because as soon as we slipped off keto, 
we went right back to all those things that we couldn't have for the last three weeks or three months, whatever that was. And that doesn't work. So what we need to say is that what I do most of the time is keto. What I do at home is keto, like 99% of the time. But then I'm going to go out for dinner with my friends and we're going to have whatever. And then I'm going to go to a birthday party and there might be cake. There's going to be times where food that I love is around me that isn't my normal and I'm going to partake. And that is okay. 100% okay. As I reach for the muscle milk one because it's better. Work in progress for the other one. And the last thing I really need to help you embrace is that even though mom, you are a superhuman and you can do it all, that doesn't mean you have to do it all alone. As a mom who spent a long time trying to do it all by myself and not ask for help, I can tell you that it was way harder than when I got myself into a community of people that were going the same direction as me, that were trying to fix their life, get healthy by doing keto. Like what? It was incredible for me to be able to sit and have conversations with other people, learning how to make keto work for them too. Because that space was so valuable to me on my journey and the support that I got, I created something for mom and women in general to come and hang out in community where we get together on Zoom twice a week for you to get support that you need to ask questions, hear from other women, what they're going through, their wins and their struggles, cheer each other on, get knowledge and an education about how to keto as a woman and how to listen to your body because we get to interact one-to-one -one inside that space with a hub where you can come and ask questions anytime and share recipes, cheer on other women. We do challenges within that community. And to top it off, every Friday, you get the Mama Can Thrive Keto Meal Plan in your inbox. So you don't have to think about macros. You don't have to think about what to buy or what to eat. You know that you're getting tried and true, family-friendly keto recipes that you can use with your family. Easily adapted without extra time in the kitchen for non-keto family members, but ultimately a program designed for moms who have kids, who are busy, and just want a keto so that they can get out of the overwhelm and into this place where they get to play and enjoy motherhood again. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you check down there because I'll get all the info linked for you in the description.